So literally every time we do a video out in the garden, someone always asks about the solar setups. They do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> we've got garden solar. We can't put them on the roof in this property, but we've we've got two independent systems, that one and that one. And the, the, but like I say, they're both independent from each other. But we'll talk about the first one we set up because um, we went all the way to Derbyshire, got the paddle second hand there i'll tell you where they're from a bargain actually there was there's about 40 quid each yeah. i'll tell you where they're from you know when you get roadside um like road works and they have like a generator type trailer that provides power to traffic lights and the duh, 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 whatever they're called <laughs> jack cover things well normally you see a solar panel sat up on a pole or a couple of them and that's the company we bought them off those x ones of those and there was only about five years old so these are 120 watt panels so making a total array of 480 watts two pairs are wired in parallel and then the series off there if that makes sense so the series paralleled and what's annoyed me from day one is we didn't get a matching one that one's slightly different same specs and they just go in down there I had to buy a, a drill bit which was about 15 inches long yeah. Yes, so everyone's just so interested in them every time we do a video because like electric prices keep soaring and everybody wants that off-grid kind of what can you do to save money and survive i can't even afford to have a shave these days <laughs> <laughs> and then we will do a video on that array as well that's a little bit more powerful so yeah 480 watts outside and that goes straight into our living room which is a mess because it's coming up to christmas and uh, it is so they're running into an affairy P210 is it? Yeah, that's a 2400 watt power bank, as in the AC outputs 2400 watts, and it's a two kilowatt hour battery. So I'll just talk about this because if you don't know, then you don't know. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery inside there. Like I say, two kilowatt hours, but it works out at about 40 amp hours if you go off the, um, the voltage, lots of plugs and things. But you you can plug more or less anything into this that you'd plug in, you know, at home or camping, you take it camping. So we've got them solar panels running in through to the input there. So that's an XT90 connector. And then it just goes down to standard MC4 connectors. So that just goes through and out of the wall down there. You've got, you could also charge it by mains there got an IEC connector that will recharge in two hours if you plug it into the mains if it's on solar it's highly dependent on how sunny it is this time of year it's not so great it sort of trickle charges um, but it's at 94% at the minute so what we run off this is firstly we've got a cigarette lighter socket there that runs into a diesel heater down there. So the exhaust goes out the wall underneath the panels. So does the air intake. And it, we basically heat the living room because it works out cheaper than heating the whole house via central heating. Corn's I can see crawling over the floor there. <laughs> yes, running a diesel heater is great because it lives so warm, so warm, so nice. So if you can find somewhere that does heating oil or red diesel i mean it's even cheaper running it on standard diesel but if you can get a cheaper alternative don't run it on waste oil it'll block it up um but we've probably been running this three or four years now through yeah, it main... makes a massive difference to your like utility bills it kind of makes you able to be warm and live and afford to live so yeah we heat the living room so we can sit in a thongs during the evening <laughs> and um, then let Speak yourself. then when we go to bed just maybe have the main heating on for half an hour to heat the house up and um, first thing in the morning but certainly during an evening we have you know diesel heater just sits down there nicely the fuel pump is, funnily enough, it's in an ice cream tub full of sand, so it quiets it right down because it was a clicky, clicky one. I did have the pump mounted outside of the fuel lines, but I just simplified it. Um, so underneath there, you have an XT60 connector, which you could run a cool box off, you could run a diesel heater off that. It's basically a 
25 amp 12 volt output so if you need to run a bit more power off your 12 volt because that's limited they're limited to about 120 watts on the um, cigarette lights so, which is fine for the diesel heater I had no issues <clears throat> getting it back in there um, USB ports on this one you've got two USB A and then a load of USB C there 20 watt 20 watt 20 watt 100 watt and then a switch to switch things on and off nice big display you've got a thing at the top sturdy cables and stuff now this power bank is an LFP battery lithium ion phosphate so you can charge it 4000 plus times before you start to get any degradation degradation before it starts degrading the battery it lasts you a lifetime should do but if it doesn't the manufacturer gives you seven year warranty and I think that's around 600 quid I don't know of any two kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate power bank with a seven year warranty i don't know anything on the market that's actually cheaper at the minute so they've come down loads in price for the tech you're getting um you'd paid that sort of price five years ago for something with a quarter of the capacity from like ecoflow or bluetti or something light and obviously the disco mode or sos is that Oh, that's the disc game. I don't know what bloody mode. I've never used that light because it just shines in your face. Um, you've got some barrel connectors there, 12 volt, 3 amp. You could run lighting off those, I suppose. Never ever use them. Um, around this side, actually, I'm just going to plug these in because we are actually charging things up at the minute. Like watches and lights. We use these for lighting. These last for hours and hours and they're really bright just for lighting in the living room um charge your phones off little power banks you can charge directly off this but if you want to be have your phone next to you and it's gone flat um three sockets there so we've got the pc and the hi-fi plugged in you can plug a lamp in you can plug anything in you can run an extension lead through your kitchen if you wanted and do your cooking just a button there for on and off for your AC. I'm not overly keen on the plastic flaps I'll be honest and I've noticed when you lift that up sometimes it catches a bit at the back there and then pops up as you're pushing it down but I do like the handles it makes it easy to to lift on and off. I can't tell you the dimensions but there's a reasonable size hand next to it and this is one of the biggest displays I've seen actually on this type of um, power bank 10 millisecond ups on this so if you run in one of those breathing machines I can't remember what they're called where you've got is it sleep apnea and you have a machine so if you have a power cut in the night this and you have all oh, right let me explain this right so you'll have the mains you'll have coming out the wall socket into this so there's power going into all this and then your cpac machine connected to the other end so what happens is it runs off mains power up until you get a power cut and then it powers from this straight away well in 10 milliseconds so if you're in an area where you get regular power cuts you won't get any interruption in your supply because as soon as the power goes off this takes over on battery if i've explained if i haven't just google ups or something like that but um, yeah i really like it it's a nice nice little machine um but also take it camping you can literally run everything for well depending on what you run if you're running air fryers it probably won't last you a week unless you brought a solar panel with you but you can certainly run kettles and charge phones toaster we've taken you air fry laptop out, didn't we, to yes watch movies on laptop yeah so we like our adult movies no um, i don't <laughs> Just when it's raining and pouring down and you're stuck in a tent all the evening, sometimes it's nice to have Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can see behind, but I actually run a sound system off it, do a bit of sound, just as a hobby. Uh, so it'll, yeah, like I say, it'll run anything up to 2,400 watts. Um, I always feel like they, they're they really versatile owning one of these because a lot of people are just like oh they're for vans you know that live on the road and things like that but actually fueling your home with it and then taking it camping as well means you're not just leaving it and only using it sporadically you can actually use it all year round all the time so it's definitely kind of worth the investment of money I think the thing about solar is 
absolutely fantastic in summer. You get loads of power. We can't use enough power out of this in the summer, but winter, like I say, it trickle charges. Power, yeah. So you have to be a bit more careful with your power consumption. We do use some grid electric. Obviously, we use the shower and we've got the lights on now for filming, but normally on, on an evening, the, the stereo runs off that and the heating it's amazing runs how on. much you can get out of it isn't it really even in winter yeah and it does help and like i say with it being like lithium iron phosphate it lasts forever and ever right i've been talking for 10 minutes now i don't want to bore you too much <laughs> um, hope you've all had an awesome christmas this is going out just after christmas it's just before christmas in the past <laughs> We will put links, you know, if it's got an app as well. I didn't even show you the app. I'm not, you can control everything with the app, so you don't even have to get off your ass to turn the heater on or the lights or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's the Afuri P10. No, P210. There's a P280. You can put an expandable battery on that, but we didn't get that one. We got this one. So, yeah, bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>